brace yourself after i was talking about the cinema pro app and some tips and tricks to improve the experience with the cinema pro app now i want to talk about the issues with the cinema pro app so let's get started let's walk a little bit and talk about the issues with the cinema pro app i have my xperia 1 mark 2 here and i'm recording with the xperia 1 mark 3 and the cinema pro app and i want a little bit to talk about the issues that i experienced with the cinema pro app and yeah hope that sony will address them in a future update for the xperia 1 mark 2 and xperia 1 mark 3 and the 5 series as well first of all no auto exposure you have the option to go into an auto mode before you record, which is nothing else than yeah, changing the sliders manually that you usually do, but it's doing this automatically, but also only for one specific value. So if you hit record then and the exposure, the sun is coming out or something like this and the light changes, it will not do this automatically so this is a very limiting thing especially for vlogs if you want to do vlogging like i'm doing usually and i'm doing right now for example and the sun is coming out or something like changes the light condition change so i want to quickly film something and want to have the higher bit rate want to have the higher quality want to have the hlg and 21 by 9 aspect ratio of cinema pro then and also the microphone support which is working pretty nice and better even on uh, the cinema pro app as you can change the sensitivity of the mic there and uh, yeah it's not there i don't have any auto exposure modes and this goes hand in hand with the limit that i don't have any option to change the exposure after i started the record uh, press the record button i started the recording so there's no option where i can change the exposure while i'm recording the only thing i can do is change the autofocus but not the recording thing where the xperia 1 mark 3 is a little bit of limited is the stabilization so it has a stabilization that you can activate in the setting but it's not really very stable now i'm really walking very very slowly but if i walk normally you will see that the stabilization is not very effective on the xperia 1 mark 3 they improved it a little bit in contrast to the one mark ii but only a little bit and this is something that uh, means that you have to have a gimbal on the xperia one mark three or two if you want to use the cinema pro app even with the stabilizer digital image stabilization and optical image stabilization enabled which is a bit of a bummer i would say some might argue okay it might be because of the 21 and uh, 21 by 9 aspect ratio and the more bigger sensor readout yeah, then just have an option with 16 by 9 aspect ratio and not so much bigger sensor readout but better stabilization <sighs> sony so we don't have to crop it afterwards and apply some stabilization manually then autofocus issues uh, i don't know if you noticed that but in one of my videos where i use cinema pro app there are some hunting sometimes back and forth back and forth i'm not sure what's wrong also if it's maybe caused to the whole sensor readout that it's just like having this hunting issues i would really rather like have then really the 16 by 9 aspect ratio and not this hunting in autofocus or they should fix the autofocus also for 21 by 9 aspect ratio otherwise it is yeah a bit of a pain and then this is maybe a problem for more consumers not so much uh, pros there's no option to export the hdr hlg format which is i think pt 2020 or 2100 to rec 709 to export it to youtube or other devices that don't support this so other devices like samsung galaxy for example can also record in hdr but have an export option where it just converts it down to a, a rec 709 which is supported by all devices right now so what i have to do right now is go into post-production have my um, lot applied to it so i can have like a normal rec 709 and especially as there's no video editor on the market for the android phone itself that can support this format not even sony's own format uh, or little video editor or clip editor is able to do this it might be very very helpful sony it's just you have the LUTs already you can apply it automatically 
and uh, you, we don't need like the big configuration stuff just have a normal LUT uh, option for export in Cinema Pro very easy to do I think and uh, yeah quite handy and then the next th next thing is the display is not always showing real recorded output I'm not sure if it has something to do with the display not getting bright enough this is already a problem on the Xperia 1 Mark II and on the 1 Mark III it is a bit brighter but not still not uh, reaching the peak brightness so it would be cool if we have like a more accurate uh, picture on the display itself when recording with Cinema Pro I know it's a bit harder and you need a lot of computing power if you cannot perform this then we need other assists like not only the exposure meter but maybe we need also a histogram of some sorts that helps us yeah uh, getting the lighting correct that helps us that, n that we know okay this is what you can expect in terms of uh, what the output really is so these are my complaints about the Cinema Pro app and I think most of them can be easily fixed by Sony with a software update it's just a software update it doesn't need big hardware updates maybe the last one with the uh, display maybe needs a little bit of hardware update but the rest is software update only so Sony please update Cinema Pro and add those features uh, here are the complaints and the problems that I have and hopefully we will get an update for the Cinema Pro app. We got an update for the Proto for the Pro app, and I'm very happy with the for the Pro app right now. I have to say, uh, with video mode especially, and I hope Cinema Pro can also be improved in that manner, so it is more useful for content creators like me who want to use 21 by 9 Cinema Pro and uh, yeah, this higher bitrate, higher quality, 4K 60 frames per seconds right now. Uh, to record some vlogs and YouTube videos. Hope you enjoyed it. If you like to support my channel, like, share and subscribe. That's everything for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Until the next time, bye.